What is up you guys? Charlie here from MA Performance and in today's video I'm gonna have our guy Leo aka Fuel Pump Daddy tell you all about how to make 700 wheel horsepower in your Evo 8 or 9. Now like I was mentioning in one of our previous videos around the Evo 10 and in the videos we made previously about how to make 500 wheel horsepower in your Evo 8 or 9 you guys thought that those were some baby numbers, some rookie numbers, if you will. And so while we don't necessarily disagree, we know that that's a very easy horsepower number to get to in those cars. So today we're talking about how to elevate the game from what you can make on a stock block to what you can do with a built block. And we're gonna focus around 700 wheel horsepower. So let's get Leo in here. He'll tell you guys exactly how to make that kind of power and uh, get you guys squared away. Well, guys, you heard it first from Mr. YouTube, Mr. Charlie here at MA Performance. That is right, I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown on how to make 700 horsepower with your 4G63 powered Evo 8 or 9, not including any sort of upgrade components that you might need for a heavily drag race car. Now, I'm going to give you the most easy peasy outline in order to make this happen. Keep in mind, there is going to be some variation on your build if you so choose. If you wanna go with X brand over Y brand, that's not a problem. As long as the component is the same, you're able to do so. Without further ado, let's dive right in it. So the first thing that you're going to need to make 700 horsepower is a built engine. Here at MA Performance, we offer a stage two for G63, and that is going to be jam-packed with all of the goodies that you need to make that kind of horsepower. The next thing that you're going to need is a fueling solution. Now again, fueling is going to depend on the kind of fuel that you actually run in the vehicle. For the sake of the video, I'm going to be assuming that you are going to be running ethanol-based fuel. With that being said, the first thing that you're going to want to look into is a double pumper setup. You could put two Walboro 450s in there, two Walboro 525s, your choice. For the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and pick two Walboro 450s that are compatible with ethanol-based fuel. The next thing you're going to need to consider is the fuel injector that you need. For this kind of horsepower number, I recommend a 2100cc injector or larger. These both can be sourced from Fuel Injector Clinic, also known as FIC, or Injector Dynamics, both of which can be found on our website. Now another fueling upgrade that you'll want to consider are going to be a fuel rail kit as well as a regulator kit. Now those two pumps are going to be working pretty damn hard and they're going to be pumping out a lot of fuel pressure. You're going to want a regulator to be able to control the amount of fuel that's delivered to that injector. Now a lot of people when they're running these double pumper setups will run the pumps on a hob switch. And I should correct myself and say one of the pumps on the hob switch. What a hob switch is, is a vacuum operated switch that when it sees X amount of boost, it will complete a circuit, therefore triggering the secondary pump. This is a big portion of it that a lot of guys miss and a lot of people ask us questions about. We are experts in this subject and we are more than happy to help. So the next thing you guys are gonna need is a turbo kit. I recommend our MA Performance T4 turbo kit and I recommend going with a turbocharger somewhere in the range of a 6266 precision or a 6466 precision turbo. Now this turbo will allow you to make that power without running out of steam. This turbo kit will come with a manifold, it will come with a downpipe, and it will come with any of the necessary intercooler piping you need to mate it up to your intercooler. Among transmission upgrades that you might need if you decide to drag race the car heavily and launch it all the time, I would also recommend looking into a drive shaft upgrade, especially if you're going to be launching the car. On top of that, I recommend upgrading your clutch. The factory clutch, or even many others, will not support 700 horsepower and about 600-ish foot-pounds of torque. Just not gonna happen. The most commonly purchased clutches that we offer here at MA Performance are going to be the Exidy Twin Discs, and the Exidy Triple Discs, as well as the Quarter Master Series of clutches. Now, they have many options to choose from, and if you give us a call, we can help you pick the right one. But keep in mind, you do not want to skimp on a clutch. After all, that is going to be what takes all of that power that that engine is making and transfers it throughout the drivetrain. Now, when you're making this kind of power, as we mentioned in the last video, you're gonna wanna stop it. At this point, I would seriously consider those two-piece gyro disc slotted rotors and a very mildly aggressive pad to allow you to stop. 
Amongst the add-ons that you're going to want to consider are going to be some upgrades to your cooling system. Now cooling includes and is not limited to a larger intercooler from ETS, perhaps even an oil cooler, something that we offer here that is manufactured here in-house and designed here in-house. And additionally, you definitely want to be able to cool that engine down when you're making all of that power. Some popular radiator upgrades are going to include Mishimoto and Koyorad. Now a lot of people will make this kind of power and they'll go, yeah, but don't you need your head built? Well, the reality is, is the engine of that vehicle and any engine, internal combustion engine that is, is essentially a massive air pump. So building the head on your Evo is certainly going to help get that air in or that boost in more efficiently as well as exhaust it out more efficiently. So looking into perhaps a set of camshafts and building the cylinder head on that car to make it more efficient is going to be of benefit to you. Now, when you have a car that makes 700 horsepower or you're planning to build a car that makes 700 horsepower, you definitely, definitely want to have a trusted and reputable tuner tuning that vehicle and calibrating it for all of the extra boost that that engine is seeing, as well as all of the extra fuel that it needs in order to make it work, amongst other things. When you're making this kind of power and you talk to your tuner, he will likely recommend you get a spark plug that is going to be suited for the amount of power you make and the kind of fuel that you are running, as some fuels have a colder combustion temperature than others. A few other little things that you're going to want to look into when you're getting your Evo 8 or 9 to 700 horsepower is going to be a boost control solution, a catch can, and to be completely honest with you, a ton of other stuff. I know that in this video I touched on just the basics, but if you at any moment in your journey of modifying your Evo 8 or 9 have any sort of questions, feel free to give us a call, 1-888-MA-PERFORMANCE. I've got a team of staff members here who are more than happy to discuss the nitty gritty, the meat and bones of your Evo 8 or 9 build. All right, you guys, so there you have it. That is what you're gonna need in order to make 700 wheel horsepower in your Evo 8 or 9. If you guys think that there's some additional room on the table for power or you've got these exact power upgrades and you wanna let us know what you made, be sure to leave us a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. If you guys enjoy this type of content from us and you wanna see some more videos just like this, we also are building an Evo 10 on the channel that is making a decent amount of power at this point. We're not quite at the 700 horsepower number, but you can subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with all of those videos as well. And as always, give us a huge thumbs up on the video if you liked it, because it helps our channel out a ton if I'm being completely honest. So anyways, that's where we're gonna end it for today. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.